Welcome to this video on a picture of heaven. It is important for believers in the Lord Jesus Christ to meditate on heaven because being confident of and excited about where we are going will affect how we live our lives in the present. The description of heaven that we are going to reflect on in this video is that of paradise. Now when you hear the word paradise, you may think of it as being synonymous with heaven. And in a sense, it is. But I want to reflect on the history of the word a bit to give us some insight into what heaven will be like. The word for paradise finds its root in the Persian word for a walled park or an enclosed garden. And so when we hear heaven referred to as paradise, the image that comes to mind is a beautiful park or a delightful garden. The Garden of Eden was paradise, a place of beauty and provision, a place of safety and tranquility. It was a place that God created, and it was very good, a delight for the senses. The colorful flowers, the spectacular trees, the flowing rivers, and the diversity of the amazing animals. In the garden, Adam and Eve had all of their needs met, and they had intimate fellowship with God, walking with him in the cool of the day. Eden was initially free from the curse of sin. There was no death, no disease, and no decay. Everything was in its perfect order. The Garden of Eden was paradise until sin entered the world, and Adam and Eve were banished from the garden. Then it became the paradise that was lost. When we turn into the scriptures to the New Testament, we see the idea of paradise used in two different ways. First, there is the present paradise, the place where believers immediately go to when they die. Jesus said to the thief on the cross, Today you will be with me in paradise. Today, not at some future point. Today you will be with me in paradise. And then to the Corinthians, Paul says that in the spirit he was caught up to paradise, the paradise that exists now, and there he received a vision of heaven. There is a present place, a paradise, a place of glory and blessing, and the presence of the Lord that believers go to, that God's people go to when they die. But the Bible also speaks of the eternal hope, the new heavens and the new earth, and this is also described as paradise. In the letter to the church in Ephesus, as recorded in Revelation chapter 2, Jesus says, To the one who is victorious, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. And Jesus says that those who faithfully endure will have the blessing of being in God's paradise, in the beautiful garden, in the marvelous park created by God, and there they will eat the fruit of the tree of life. Can you imagine what the paradise of God, the garden of God, will be like? How would you picture a perfect garden designed by the God who is all wise? What would it look like? Even in our fallen world, we see the creative genius of God and that he loves diversity and beauty. He loves diversity. Think of the myriad of different kinds and unique features of the animals. God created each species just so. God loves beauty. He created a world with spectacular sunsets, peaceful lakes, and majestic mountains. If we are amazed at the fingerprints of God in our world, think of how breathtaking paradise will be. The future Garden of God. Let us read about the restored Garden of Eden from Revelation chapter 22. Revelation 22, 1 through 4. Then the angel showed me, and that's the Apostle John writing, then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. 
The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there, John gives us a glimpse of the paradise that is to come. And it will be amazing. It will be our playground. Our senses will be delighted as we explore the new heavens and the new earth, the paradise that God has made for his people. Well, let us turn to the Lord in prayer as we close this video. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the future hope that we have. We thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ, that salvation and eternal life are found in him. And our Heavenly Father, we pray that we would look to heaven with anticipation, that we would be excited as we think about how beautiful and spectacular and amazing it will be. And the greatest thing about heaven is that we will be with you forever and ever. Thank you for these thoughts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching this video, and the Lord's blessing be upon you. God bless.